My name is Danny Watin. We have been learning a lot and uh, day in and day out uh, some absolute beginners and um, intermediate players emerge on the channel. So today we are going to look at some simple techniques you can uh, follow to play your uh, major skills on the guitar. We're going to look at beginner skill techniques. We will take every string and then elaborate it. Look at the relationship between the strings in terms of major skill playing. So, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly hit on the subscribe button and then click on the notification so that you not miss any lesson from this channel give a comment at the comment section let's begin we are going to begin with the first string the e string as a beginner you may sometimes find it difficult to play uh, your major skills on this string the e string so we are beginning from the first fret we are beginning from the first fret. We are looking at the relationship between the strings. So, if we begin from here, this is F. We will end at the third fret on the D string. Okay, like this. So, we have um, F, E, open, G, uh, D, C, B, sorry, B flat, B flat, A, J, open, and then we have F. We can play to the top. So, um, the relationship I'm talking about here is, if you start from the first fret, mm, you end at the third fret on the D string, like this. So, E open, D, C, B flat, E, J, and then F good now let's look at F sharp the pattern or the shape will change the shape will change so F sharp instead of starting with our first finger let's start with the second finger and if we start with the second finger at the second fret, we will end at the fourth fret on the D string with our fourth finger, like this. So look at it. F sharp. F. E flat. C sharp. B. B flat. J sharp. Then you get your F sharp here. Good. Let me take it again. You start from the second finger. Start with your second finger on the second fret of the E string. You end on the fourth fret on the D string with your fourth finger. So it is vice versa. Okay. So start from the fourth finger. 
first finger, third finger, fourth finger, second finger, fourth finger, first finger, and then second finger. Good. Now, this shape follows to the 12th uh, fret. It follows the same pattern to the 12th fret. So, like I'm saying, if you are, want to play G major, the same shape I have taught you. Okay, start with your second finger. You end on your fourth finger. So, okay, let me take my time. G, F sharp, E, D, okay, C, B, A, G, you get it, alright, that's how it is. Good. So it follows like that. Mm? Like that, like that, like that. Good. Now let's come to the second string, the string B. We are looking at the string B. Apart from C, apart from this uh, note here, C, mm? which will enable you to end with your third finger on the third fret of the E string like this. Apart from this, then a bar chord or a bar shape sets in. The C shape, you begin with your second finger on the second fret of the B string, okay? Then you end with your fourth finger like this, okay? So your C sharp shape is going to be like this. Then it goes like this, third finger, first finger, fourth finger, third finger, first finger, fourth finger. It is vice versa. Also follows this. It follows like that. Okay, so this is another. Um, um, is it a secret or oh, okay? Uh, I have to unlock it for you. Now let's look at the G string. The G string is going to be like this. The G string, you start with your major skill, you start your major skill with your first finger, then you play downwards like this. First finger, third finger, first finger, second finger, then fourth finger, first finger, third finger, then fourth finger. So you can see that from the first four frets of the guitar board, you can play um, a major scale. This is G sharp. This also follows a trousseau side. You can repeat it. You can use the same format to play every major key you want to play on the G string here. For example, if you want to play A major like this, this is A. Okay, the same shape, you do this, you, you play. Like that. Okay, it follows this, the pattern I have shown you. So, 
Okay, let's look at um the D. I have already we have already done the D. We did the first uh the first string. Uh, its relationship is on the D. We did the second string, its relationship is on the A string. And then um we did the G. The G relationship is on the big third string. So we can do something like this. Like that. So these are the relationships of the string, the relationship between the strings. The first string mm, relates with the D. Yeah. First relates with the fourth. Second relates with the fifth. And then third relates relates to the sixth. Again, the first string relates to the fourth string. The second string relates to the uh, the fifth string and then the third string relates to the sixth string okay so i i would want you to take your time and then practice this if you are finding any difficulties you uh, send me a whatsapp message on the number on the screen now so subscribe to my channel and then share the videos we will meet for another lesson thank you